Hello gorgeous, welcome to the Soul Led Millionaire podcast. In this show, I will teach you how to manifest the life of your dreams and become a soul led millionaire yourself. We will go deep on all things money, mindset, manifestation, self-love, spirituality, and more. I can't wait to bring you this content. So sit back, relax, listen in, and let's get into today's episode. Hello, darlings. Welcome back to day three of the Manifest It All free five-day course. How are you going? I hope that you have done days one and two's lots of homework. <laughs> if you haven't, make sure you do it before we get started with today's lesson. Otherwise, you're just going to get behind and we can't have that. We want to be manifesting it all now, right? So in today's lesson, I am talking about beginning a daily practice and why a daily practice is so freaking important to manifest everything that you want. Now, this is what Money Mindset School is all about. It's all about helping you remain consistent with a daily practice of manifesting the money that you want, the life that you want, the business that you want, the income streams that you want, the spending money that you want, the savings that you want. It's about creating that consistent practice of becoming that new person who has everything that they want. And as you know, Money Mindset School has just turned one. And this week we are running a promotion where when you join, when you become a member of Money Mindset School, you get access to tons of resources like the live sessions. You also get all the replays. You get monthly abundance circles. You get 21 day challenges. You get guided visualizations and meditations and EFT and journal prompts and so much more. But because it's its birthday, it's first birthday. I'm also giving every new member who signs up five extra courses on top of it, valued at over $500. So if you would love to actually manifest the money that you want in the exact way that you want by being consistent and creating your own money mindset practice, a daily practice, <laughs> I would love to see you inside Money Mindset School. Head to the uh, description box below and click on the link to join and you can learn all about what you're going to get inside Money Mindset School as well as what those five extra bonuses are. Okay, so going back to what day three is all about, it's about beginning a daily practice. It's about getting really good at persisting in what you want instead of what you don't want because my friend, you are well-versed in being persistent already, right? You're well-versed in being consistent with what you don't want. Yes. Like I said, you're always manifesting. Well, you're actually always being consistent. But in this case, it is towards what you don't want. It's in the opposite direction of what you want. You have been very consistent at practicing a vibration, a story, an energetic frequency, the way you feel, the way you think, the way you act, the way you behave in the opposite direction of what you want. You're very good at it <laughs> because you've been consistently not getting what you want, right? So you're damn good at it. Now, if you want to flip that and turn it around and ask yourself the question, what if I did it in the opposite direction of what I wanted, meaning I did it towards what I wanted instead of towards what I didn't want, what would that mean? I mean, you're already really good at being consistent, so what if we flipped it? What if we moved your consistency towards what you want? What would that mean? What would happen then? So for me, when I started doing a consistent daily money mindset practice all the way back in 2019, I cannot tell you how fast shit changed. Shit changed, man. <laughs> it was so quick. It happened within, I guess you could say 30 days, but if we want to be more, um, broad, let's say 60 days, let's say two months, it took for things to radically change. For me to go from where I was stuck, which was in Europe, I had checked my bank account and only had 18 euro in it. And I was like, what the fuck? What am I going to do? And it's because I forgot to transfer the funds over to my bank account. So I had to like survive on this 18 euro for the weekend. And I went from that 
which was a recurring pattern of constantly draining my bank account and putting myself into drama when I didn't need to, when I had the actual money in my PayPal accounts and Stripe accounts, but I hadn't transferred it over. But I had this pattern of making it really fucking difficult for myself because I had an underlying belief that I wasn't worthy of being looked after, being taken care of. So I had to perpetuate that story in my physical reality, right? Going from that to 60 days later, making 30 grand, which was the, like the highest amount of money that I had made in a month at that time. And then from there, building and maintaining, or maintaining and building, I guess I should say, <laughs> making that amount of money, holding that amount of money in my bank accounts, and also growing my money from doing different things like investing and stuff, right? Being able to maintain and continuously grow from that place. When two months prior, I, I had 18 euro in my account. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's crazy what can happen if you commit to doing this work for yourself. Because like I said, there ain't no one else who's going to do it for you, right? No one's going to sit there every day, moment by moment, watching your thoughts, shifting those thoughts in the moment that you don't like, that are negative, that are coming up, that are making you feel powerless, helpless, like you're a failure, and shifting them into empowerment, into achievement, succession, getting it all. No one's going to do that for you except you, right? And this is why you have to do a daily practice because it's just such an easy way to remain consistent with it. It is much harder to keep returning to it after long periods of time or doing it once a week. It is much harder to see that change happen, to see the shifts taking place. If you're not constantly on it, you really have to be on it. It is like a full-time job. If you really, really want the things that you say that you want, it is going to be a full-time job shifting those thoughts, shifting the way that you're thinking, shifting the story that you're telling, because you have been basically in a full-time job doing it in the opposite direction. And you've done it so well, you now don't have to think about it too much. It's now automatic thinking negatively or thinking in a lack-focused way. But you can change it to the opposite direction. You can change it where you're constantly thinking in abundance. You can change it to where you are living in a state of overflow, a state of financial abundance, a state of overflowing of love, a state of joy, a state of bliss. You can, but you must be the one to consistently practice that, right? <laughs> okay, so now we've got it clear that you do need a daily practice. I want to share with you what I tend to focus on in my daily practice. But what I want to reiterate here is that it's not the techniques that are the thing that manifests for you. It's not. You can do scripting, you can do visualizing, you can do meditation, you can do affirmations, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But if it's not shifting your internal compass towards what you want and keeping you in that state, there's no point in doing it. You have to do something and have to find something that helps you consistently shift back into that state. Now for me, the first thing that I do is I affirm to myself, but I affirm in a way where it's more like statements and talking to myself. It's like an inner speech, an inner talking to myself of how life is going, right? But the easiest way to understand that is calling it affirmations. And it, I'm sure you've heard about affirmations before. This is like a big thing for the manifestation industry. <laughs> But they're powerful. They're really powerful and they can really change shit if you stay consistent with them. So for me, I do a mix of different things each day. It's not just like I have like a list of affirmations and I read through them. It's in the moment what I'm feeling. So say I wake up and I'm having a great day and I'm feeling good and I'm feeling like, I guess you could say high vibe. And I just want to keep going on those beautiful feelings, I will talk to myself and say, man, life is going so good. I am just always so surprised and delighted by life. I'm really blown away by the magic that comes to me daily. I really love this place that I'm in. It always feels like everything is working out in my favor and it feels so good. I feel so looked out for. I feel so taken care of and it makes me feel even more like the person I want to be. It makes me feel like I'm light, like I am vibrant, and like I can show up in my life in the way that I want. And I love this feeling. I just, I feel so good. I feel so beautiful and radiant. 
I truly know that I am worthy. I truly know that I am whole. I feel it without a single shred of doubt. So that might be something that you could do, but I amplify how I'm feeling if I'm feeling good. Now, if I wake up in the morning and I'm not feeling that great, maybe I'm tired, maybe I didn't have a great sleep, maybe I'm worried about something, maybe something is stressing me out with work, whatever it is, I will then ask myself, okay, do I feel the way that I want to feel? No. Okay, how would I like to feel? And then I will tell myself the story of how I'd like to feel. Now, let's say if I've woken up and I'm stressed about work and that's where my point of focus is, that's what my mind's on, I will talk to myself, affirm or (laughs) say statements based on what I want to happen with work, right? So that might sound like, you know, I was so worried about this particular work issue, but now it's just cleared up and it feels really good. And I love that it's returned back to this homeostasis place. And I just feel like it's all cleared and I don't have to worry so much. Actually, I don't have to worry at all. It's all fixed and everything is flowing smoothly and I can get back on track and focus on what makes me feel really, really good and what's really, really fun in my business. And I trust that that is taken care of. And in fact, It totally is. I got the message that came through that told me that it was. And I love that my business is so malleable like this. It is not so fixed and not so fragile that one little thing that goes wrong means it's going to break everything. It is a beautiful business. It is a business that completely sustains and supports me. And I love how taken care of I feel by this business It is a beautiful business. I have the most amazing customers. I have the most amazing topic that I speak on and that I teach on and I love what I do. And I'm just so grateful that this is what I get to do. And I was just so worried this morning. It's so funny how fast that can turn around, right? So you're talking yourself into how you want to feel, into the end, right? Into the end state, the outcome, the result that you want. You're talking yourself there. You are getting yourself into the end state. You're not dwelling in the present state that you're in if you're feeling more negative, okay? So what I would like you to do is, this may take some time to get used to constantly choosing what you're talking to yourself, what you're saying to yourself, although you actually already do it every day. You do it on autopilot and usually in the opposite direction of what you want but now you're consciously doing it to start to override those old thoughts so it's going to feel like a lot it's going to feel like it's it's a bit much (laughs) but that's okay it will get normal it will get easier and it will start to flow naturally but for today's homework what I want you to do is I want you to come up with at least five to ten affirmations that help you feel into either how you want to feel as a person who has it all or having the desires that you want or if you want to be like a a plus plus student do both (laughs) five to ten affirmations for each that feel really good and I would suggest doing a mix of specific and general affirmations like let's say if it's money that you you want a specific affirmation might be I'm making thousands of dollars a day and it feels so good to be so taken care of And then a general one could be, everything totally works out in my favor. I really don't have to worry. And mixing them up and riffing on them throughout your day is what you're going to do. So you're going to do it when you think about it, when you like remind yourself to do it, but especially when you're not feeling good or especially when you catch yourself thinking thoughts that don't serve you, thinking thoughts that are affirming the opposite of what you want. Okay. (laughs) And what will happen is if you stick to doing this daily as a consistent practice, your subconscious mind will eventually accept those new affirmations, those new statements, the new narrative that you're telling yourself, and then your reality will start shifting. Your actual physical reality will start shifting to match that new self-concept, right? That's how powerful this work is. It is so fucking powerful. (laughs) It has blown me away how powerful we are and what we can create and what we can do. And that's not even all that I want you to do today. (laughs) So that's a great place to start if you're building your daily practice. Like that's, that's perfect. That's all you need. 
you can take what you have learned from days one and two and then recreate the things that you would like to say yourself to say to yourself from there but if you want to go above and beyond like I know some of you will what I do recommend you doing is learning to speak appreciatively about everything everything right seeing the good in everything seeing the highest possible outcome for everything it is also known as gratitude but some people don't like it so let's just say appreciatively <laughs> and how I recommend doing it is very much like how you do your affirmations but you're essentially going through your day noticing things to be appreciative about now you can notice like if if you see like a house or a car or a pretty flower or something in your office or your children of course feel appreciative about them and just take a moment to feel into that energetic frequency of appreciation of love for that thing or that person or that circumstance or that event that's happening but also with those thoughts that pop up in your head each day especially if they're negative I want you to start learning to shift and appreciate something about that whether it's a person or it's a situation look for the highest truth of that situation or person look for the highest outcome the the best outcome that works for everyone in that and what you're actually doing is you're creating a different outcome based on your point of focus right you're creating a different outcome by choosing to see it differently right and that's what we were talking about the last two days choosing to see something differently because it's these little moment by moment things that we don't even recognize are irritating us stressing us out making us feel like shit isn't working out for us those are the things that really eat away at us and so I want you to start shifting them in the moment and I know this doesn't really have anything to do with money but it's these things that do influence how we feel overall so I want you to start just playing with it playing with different outcomes playing with seeing things differently on things that aren't related to money and what you'll find is as you do this you'll start to notice that things that you want whether it's money or it's a house or a successful business a relationship whatever it is manifesting it all right <laughs> all of those things will start to change and rearrange around you it won't be just that specific goal or desire that you're chasing after will change your entire life will change and it will become insanely beautiful it will become magical you will be literally saying to yourself how the fuck did this happen like never in my wildest dreams would I ever have thought I could have manifested it to be this good right so I want you to do that get on that today and that is all your homework for today now as you know like I said money mindset school first birthday happening now <laughs> big promo five extra courses <laughs> Sign up before uh, the enrollment closes and the offer is no longer there. There's a couple more days left. I would love to see you inside. And then I will see you tomorrow for our day four. Okay. Thank you so much. Catch you later.